Hello and uh, welcome to our session. Um, it's a small group today, only, only two students and my amazing co-worker uh, Cynthia Chan um, are at today's uh, Your Career Starts Here um, session. So I'm just going to go straight into my presentation and because it is such a small group and ho hopefully more people join on, I really encourage you to uh, stop me. And if you have questions to please put it in, in the chat. And because I'm gonna be sharing my PowerPoint presentation, I won't be able to really monitor my chat. So uh, Cindy is gonna help me uh, with that today. So let me um, share my screen and let's get going because your career starts here. Okay. So my name is David Catterford and I am a career development specialist at the University of Calgary. I started um, at the university a long, long, long time ago, actually just a few months after uh, Cynthia uh, Jan started in January, I started in January 2007 and I look after pretty much all of the undergraduate students at the University of Calgary with anything career related. Um, yeah, so welcome to my session. And really it's, I'm just really wanna share some career wisdom with everybody so that when you, you know, start at university, that's a new phase in your life. And it's important to maximize your, your time here at, un, at uh, university. Um, yeah, so here's our um, territorial acknowledgement uh, um, symbol, and we have this at the side of uh, career services. And what's really interesting for me from a personal perspective is actually I graduated um, from Trent University um, in Ontario, and I um, graduated with, with a Canadian Studies and a Politics degree. So I'm a big history buff, and, a, and a, um, I love politics and Canadian politics. So I, I'm really excited now to relearn our history, our new shared history. And so I, I am very excited about the uh, our Indigenous strategy here at the uh, University of Calgary. And um, yeah, so this is a big heavy duty question that I want everybody to think about right now. And this is what we do in, in career development is we like to imagine things and imagine the future and imagine you being happy in the future and why are you happy? Um, so really what I want you to do is imagine your graduation day. What would you like to be able to say about your time at university? So what I want everybody to do is, is really think hard about some of these questions um, why are you here? Why did you decide to come to the University of Calgary? Why did you pick the University of Calgary? What interested you in choosing whatever path you decided to take? And I really want you to think about your answers to those questions. Okay, now thinking that before you go into university, now, Let's imagine it's at the end of your degree. And I want everybody to graduate with a smile on their face. So what, what did you accomplish? What did you learn? Okay, so those are really big questions and they're big important career questions. So what I want you to do is, is write down your answers um, on a piece of paper and then hold on to them a little bit and check them every year or so, or every six months or so. But that, that's, a good, um, that's a good exercise to do. Does anybody wanna share um, a story or share um, what they're thinking now before they uh, enter into the University of Calgary? Um, I guess the, the thing for me, oh wow, there's a feedback now. Um, I guess for me, it's 
basically just choosing where I want to go. Cause like, I don't know if I want to leave Calgary or go somewhere else. And like, there, there's a good city out in New, or university out in New Brunswick that I was looking at, but at the same time, I don't really want to go across the country. That's the only thing. So I'm trying to, so basically I'm trying to decide between staying home or going abroad. Okay, so, but you're, you're here now, right? And, and, and yeah. now it's time to just do some discovery and, and learn a little bit, right? Yeah. So good for you. And, and, and thanks, for, thanks for coming to the session. Let's, uh, let's continue on. Um, okay, because here's the thing is when you go to university, it's not just a degree right? It's the degree plus a lot of other stuff that you get. Um, when I look back on my university time, I, I, I don't really remember the classes I took. I, I remember more of some of the other stuff that I did, projects I worked on, clubs that I was a part of. So this is some things that take advantage of while you're at university. Because to me, university is, is very, it's almost like starting kindergarten and you start kindergarten and there's so many different things you can do in kindergarten and having a successful kindergarten sets you up for grades one, two, three, four, five, and university will set you up for the early success of your career. And you're going to get a lot of that early success through clubs, projects, joining student associations taking part in labs, maybe sports, uh, doing some part-time work is always good, doing some volunteer work, co-op, internships. Um, you know, we, we, we help students find jobs at career services and not just students at the end of their degree looking for full-time jobs, all help students find summer jobs or volunteer jobs as well. And then there's loads of research opportunities at the University of Calgary. So get involved, find out, be, be curious. And if you're not curious, well then get curious. Your career is a process. And this is the way we kind of look at the process. It's I mean, it's kind of, okay, I'm going to university to get a job, right? Which might be true and, and it might be your goal. I, I certainly, that's why I really enjoy working at the University of Calgary is because it provides career options for the students. And um, that's why I work at the University of Calgary. Um, but here, here's the thing is it's, it's not get a job. That's not the first thing you should really think about. Um, what's more important is, or not more important, but starting out is getting to know yourself and, and finding out about you and, and, and what you like doing, what you don't like doing. And, and really your first year of university will be trying to navigate through this new uh, system, this new post-secondary system. But I think it is very important to know yourself. And then I think the next big thing is to, once you know yourself or think you know yourself, then you can explore your options. Then you get focused and, and you get all your tools together. You set some action plans, you prioritize some things. Uh, you get your resume, interview prep, all your online presence, all that stuff looking really, really good. Then you take action. And from there, that's gaining experience, growing your network. But it's not a step ladder. It's not like climb the mountain and then you get a job. It doesn't, life, career doesn't work that way. I know we'd like to think it does works that way, but it doesn't. Career is more... No, it's more circular. It's, it, it's, you kind of get to know yourself, you explore your options, you get focused, you take action. And then while you're getting focused and working on your, your resume, you, you're getting to know yourself uh, while you do it. Um, and that's more the way careers really um, 
acts. It's not straight lines. It's very circular, if, if that makes sense. And, and that's, that's a good thing. And it starts where, where you are now. So you are here right now. So think about that and think about this is a very important time in your life. And now think about, okay, I have to maximize my time at university. Okay, so knowing yourself is, means asking good questions. And again, these are very important questions. Uh, what is important to me? What do I care about? And then if the, the answers to those questions will represent your values. Because what I'm about to show you now is something that we call VISTA at the uh, Career Services. And VISTA, will, it's a good career development uh, model to help you with your career. But I think it is very important to think about what is important to you. What do you care about? What do you enjoy most? interests and and thinking about what interests you because interest is a very important part of your career and and many students don't know what they're interested in so that's not the end of the world we we, we can certainly help with that by doing interest inventories and brainstorming and then once you figure out what you're interested in then it, it's good to connect with people that are similar minded to you. And then if they're similar to you, then maybe their careers will interest you. But that's something that's very important is that your interests. And then what are you good at? Skills. And this is kind of the growth mindset. When you're younger, you kind of grow and develop your skills. Well, and now it's um, university is really hard work and you're going to be doing some hard work and some heavy duty projects and group projects and you're going to be testing your skills to see if you're really good at them. And then while you're testing your skills to see if you're good at them, it's also checking in. Do you like doing the, the things that you're doing? And then personality type, what are your traits? What is your personality like? Um, are you more introverted, extroverted, uh, all, all of those types of things? Because once, as you get older, you start to become yourself and um, you start to realize, oh, I like doing this. I, I really enjoy doing this. But then you dislike doing certain things and, and, and it changes. And, and so I think it is very important to check back in with yourself um, all the time and, and see what your personality is like. Um, and then what is your ideal life look like? What, what would success look like to you in one year, in two years, in five years? And, and that's ambition. That's really, that's what drives you. That's what motivates you. And it's very important to find out what motivates you soon as you can. Um, I didn't really realize that I, my motivation was helping people. And I didn't realize that until I was about 30 years old. So there you go. Um, just monitoring the chat. Let me see. It says we got one thing on the chat. Okay. But if anybody has any comments, or um, please uh, put them in the chat. Um, or I will just kind of continue on. Um, here's one thing that's really interesting. And um, students come and see me and, and, and they'll say, oh, I'm taking a psychology major. What jobs can I get with a psychology major? Or what jobs can I get with a Canadian studies major or a history major or an English major? or biology. And you know what? Companies don't hire majors. Companies hire people and they look for skills and they, and they hire for fit. So I think whatever your major is, that gives you a specialty. And it, it, it certainly, the employer will become interested in your application. 
but it's it's more to it than your major it's what skills you're developing and these are the skills that employers want to have and these are the skills that you'll be developing while at the university of calgary so problem solving skills ability to work in a team a lot of group project uh, stuff going on at the university communication skills is huge um, leadership i mean really the university creates future leaders I, I mean, strong work ethic. You will develop a strong work ethic um, if you're going to be successful at the University of Calgary. Um, analytical, quantitative skills, initiative, communication, verbal communication skills, detail oriented, flexibility, being adaptable, especially the students, and in, in, uh, I'd say in the last year, adapting to switching all their courses online and things like that technical skills, interpersonal skills, and organizational ability. So those are what the future employers want. And those are the skills that you'll be developing in your majors, depending on whatever your major is. Okay, so what options will you have with your degree? Well, lots. I, I mean, that's kind of the problem that happens to university students. That's it's a good career problem to have. It's you have too many career options and you have to narrow them down. So it's there are lots of options available with each of your degrees, and we have uh, degree profiles um, that that can show you that, and then we really advise students to book appointments with, with us um, at Career Services or Student Success Center or any program advisors um, and start talking about uh, their courses and, and what they want to take and, and things like that. Um, it really depends on your unique interests, your skills and your values. That's one thing I've noticed working at the University of Calgary is I every student I've ever helped they've all been different, vastly different. And that's what's really cool about working at the University of Calgary is people are different and they have, they have different values and, and interests and skills. So we don't graduate a bunch of robots. We graduate individuals. We don't graduate just a bunch of mechanical engineers. We graduate amazing engineers and some engineers go off and, and, and work in oil and gas others work more in sustainable others go in, into more in insurance work in insurance or, or sales um, things like that so that's what's really um, important is to not get cookie cutter into I'm doing this degree therefore my next option is medicine or nothing it's what do you want to do with your degree and I think it is very important to talk to other students, talk to alumni and uh, talk to professors and, and learn about what they're doing and then um, learn from their um, career stories as, as, as well. I, I think it is very important that you will have loads of options with your degree. Okay, so how do you explore options? Well, do your research and do your research online. I, that's the one lucky thing. When I went to university in the late 1980s, early 1990s, there wasn't the internet. And so if we had to learn about careers, we had to go to the library and sign books out about careers. And it was pretty archaic way to do it. Now is a little more up to date. So they have up to date information um, that you can get online. Um, and yeah, so Alice, our degree profiles, uh, we have lots of worksheets and, and things like that at career services that you can use. And then I also think, hey, connect and ask questions, talk to people. Um, and do that while you're at university, because that's really our mission statement at Career Services, is to get students connected to employers. And that's what we do. 
And so come to our, our career fairs, come to our info sessions and uh, yes, yeah, connect and ask questions because employers come on campus to talk to students. So take advantage of that and then try stuff, um, get involved, volunteer. Um, that's the best way to, to, to learn is, is to try and, and do stuff. So yeah, um, how can you explore options? Those are three good ways to, to do it. Okay, so maybe you're the type of person that, oh, I got too many to choose from. So you're, you, you look like the, the, the person in the picture here. Um, how do you choose what to focus on? Well, this is the, the tough part of, of career, the, the balancing and, and juggling of your stuff. Um, and you're going to get busy and crazy and hectic at the University of, of Calgary. I can guarantee you that, right? So you're going to have to prioritize and you're going to have to keep it manageable and you're going to have to do some some wellness things so that you're well and balanced. You're gonna to have to set some goals, um, academic career, um, career and some fun goals because, hey, university is really, really hard and you, you wanna stay in check. You wanna stay balanced as, as you can. And we have a lot of uh, uh, supports and things like that to help you in, in that area as well. Hey, so how can career services help? Um, yeah, so let me, how are we doing on time? We got 22 after. And no, any comments or questions up to this point? Anybody? We're okay? Feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question. Yeah. So, Hal, did you have something to say? Okay. Well, I'll just jump right in and show you how career services can help because we we can help absolutely. So, I mean, we have one-on-one -on -one career coaching um, that you can. Uh, do you can book appointments with with us i've been actually seeing lots of of new students uh, first and second year students uh and then you you book appointments um and, and many of those appointments are we talk about career and and we we talk about what the student is taking and what they're enjoying about it and then i'll ask some some career questions and and help them along along their path, whether that be finding a part-time job, finding a volunteer job, or maybe doing an, an, an assessment to try and figure out uh, what they want to do. Um, I also help loads with uh, lots with resumes, cover letters, um, interview prep. That's fun, actually, helping students prepping for interviews. Interviewing is really hard. And um, so what we do, we, we have uh, workshops actually too that we run on resumes and cover letters and interviewing. And um, yeah, so definitely book an appointment with me for an interview session. And cause I really, I want all students to ace every interview from now on. That doesn't guarantee that you'll get every job, but it is very important to be able to talk about yourself and talk about your degree and talk about your stories of accomplishment. And really an interview is really a sharing of stories back and forth. Um, and then, like I said, I, I help students find full-time jobs, part-time jobs, internships, summer jobs. Uh, we, we just help out however you need help out with uh, in, in regards with your career and, and we'll, we'll do our best. And then, of course, we do have, I should, Cindy, I should have changed this, but it's no longer called CareerLink. It's called Elevate. 
and I, I sorry, but I, I should have changed that. But the Elevate job board um, is probably the best job board in the world because only University of Calgary students can access the uh, job postings. And um, yeah, so take advantage of ch checking out Elevate um, job board. We also run workshops. Um, David, we have yeah. a question from Suhal. Sure. Oh, sorry. Just uh, just had a small issue on my mic, but that's fine. Anyway, um, so this Elevate uh, link, is it about the, the same uh, link as well Miss uh, Cindy sent uh, in the chat? Yeah. Um, so um, what I just sent in the chat is a... Um, three-day career discovery camp that we are hosting for high school students. So if you click on that link, you'll be, um, go to our website that has a little bit more information about the three-day um, discovery camp. And you can uh, put yourself on the wait list for more information. So Elevate is a platform that once you start with us uh, in September or when you come to university and you're accepted, when you start in September, you'll get access to the platform Elevate. And that's where you will get um, access to job postings. You can RSVP to workshops. You can uh, get information about our career fairs and uh, RSVP to any events that we host through our office. Sorry, David, I didn't. Oh, that's right. Yeah, do a little good uh, Elevate commercial in, in the middle of the workshop. No, Elevate is 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 really important to to um, get on Elevate and and check out all our events on on the calendar. Um, and then, but here's the thing: is don't don't get too involved too soon at university because. Starting at university is like is, is like a, a new lifestyle and kind of do small steps, um, but don't overdo it a little bit. I always like to say the first year students is to, to really become a good student and to maybe check out a couple of clubs or, or walk through a career fair and just watch look around ask a couple of questions be curious but don't necessarily overdo it and then your second year then you want to maybe make some connections and maybe join some clubs maybe take over a club a student club or, or something like that and and just small steps and go within your comfort zone but we we definitely do want you to check out our our workshops um we we run them in cycles. Uh, so we have a resume cover letter workshop, then we do a job search workshop, then we have a, a LinkedIn lab, which is utilizing LinkedIn, and then we have an interview workshop as well. And then we also run uh, workshops on networking, uh, introverted, uh, what's it, how do you network when you're, if you're introverted or extroverted, and uh, so we, we have lots of different great workshops. And then there's lots of industry events and, and career conversations and, and uh, uh, info sessions. And uh, definitely take advantage of all of those as well. Hey, so I think it's, Here's a good career question for you, because we always ask young people, okay, oh, you're starting university. What do you want to do for a career? What do you want to do for the rest of your life? And, and, and you know what? Nobody can answer that question, especially when you're younger, right? So here's a, a, a better career question. What would be something exciting? What would be something fun to try next? Um, and let that guide your career. Um, here's a, a better, instead of figuring what, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? What problems do I want to help solve? And then think about that and then think of the organizations, the, 
the associations, the groups that are solving those problems and then help see if you can lend them a, a helping hand. Um, but I always do what would be interesting? What, what should I try next? What's one good thing that I could, I could do next that to add on? Because it's always small steps. So think about like, what is one thing you want to do in the next three days? And then think like, what is one thing you want to do within the next three months in regards to your career? And does anybody want to share anything that they want to maybe try in the next couple of days or we got a it's a quiet group today okay um that's pretty much the workshops because we didn't have a lot of conversations stuff like that but what i can do is um, cause we do have some time and or unless somebody wants to spark up a conversation, um, what I can do is do a little overview of our career services page and maybe show you one or two career clips. How does that sound? <laughs> okay. Let me. I am going to share my screen. Close off my PowerPoint. Okay, so this is our uh, web page right here, um, Career Services. And then what I usually advise students to do is then click on students, and then you can take a look at browsing our online resources over here. And then like I, I showed everybody, um, our, I actually didn't show anybody our career wheel but this is, I talked about it um, in, in the workshop. And so we have access to, this is our wheel with the reflect, the explore, the prepare, the act. And we have different exercises in all of these um, areas here. So here is the reflect, what's values, what's important to me, what are you interested in? Strength, skills, so yeah, the vista, and then you can explore your options. And within the options, we have um, industry information, occupations. You click on that. And then we have our uh, link to our degree profiles. So we have lists of all the degrees in all the arts and sciences. And um, so, for example, if you were taking sociology, which is a fantastic uh, major to take. You can um, take a look at our degree profiles. So here are skills you're gaining with your degree, sample job titles you could do with your degree, but not limited to just this. Because well, that's one thing that kind of made me mad a little bit, because I'm a poli-sci major. And under the poli sci degree profile, I wanted to put career specialist in there because that's what I did. And um, all my coworkers said, no, David, uh, we can't put a career specialist there. We're gonna put it beside psychology. And I was like, but that's what I do. And they said, yeah, but David, you're very unusual. And so, yeah, I want you to be unusual. And, and, and th this is, so what we put the job titles here are just, are what most of the students in that major uh, took, but it is not limited to, to just that. And then you can check out all of these occupations further by checking out the Alice page. 
And then the best thing to do is to talk to people that actually do those jobs. And then that's what we help with um, at career services. So potential industries and then different associations as well. So let me go back now and just, so yeah, so we have explore, prepare, but I wanna show everybody our career clips because I think our career clips are the our best, but I can never know where I am on. So here we go, watch our career clips. So these are basically, our whole team has been working on these, but I, I have to give kudos to Lawrence Chan. He, he's put them all together. And these are probably our best resources. Um, and they're fast and they're quick. And all the videos are about eh, three to five minutes long, depending. But we have uh, cover letters, interview prep coming up with references, the job search process, phone video interviewing, career fairs, um, how to network. Let's watch, which one do you think we, we should watch? Let's watch the networking one, how about that? Does that sound okay? Um, from Welcome to Career Clip. Okay, is, can everybody hear that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's talk about networking. Okay. Networking is defined as a supportive system of sharing information and services among individuals and groups having a common interest. Professional networking can help in identifying unadvertised positions and help in gaining knowledge and information about certain occupations or career paths. Networking can also help you build your confidence for interviews and clarify your career goals. Networking is not about asking for a job. It is about talking and listening to professionals to gain insight about their career journey and to learn about their companies. It is a two-way process that involves developing and maintaining connections with individuals. So it's important for you to know yourself and be able to talk about your goals your experiences, and your interests. Having a well-established network has become an important part of finding a professional job in Canada. The easiest way to expand your network is to build on the relationships with people that you already know. We at Career Services host career fairs, employer information sessions, industry panels, and other special events that will help you get connected with professionals. Networking can be done either in group settings and or individual coffee chats, which are known as information interviews. When attending events, your networking introduction should be tailored to the situation. Share a one sentence introduction of who you are, what you are currently doing, and or your career goals, and why you're at the event. Dress professionally and have a firm handshake while making eye contact. Remember their names and use it throughout the conversation. Listen actively and don't dominate the conversation. Keep attentive to what they are saying. Have quality open-ended questions. Stay positive and avoid gossip, politics, and religion. Do not monopolize a person's time. For one-on-one -on -one networking conversations, Keep them short and stick to the point. Here are some good questions that you may want to ask. Be curious. And if you want to know more, hey, ask them to tell you more. At the end of your conversation, when appropriate, ask for a business card or ask if you can connect with them on LinkedIn. Don't wait around. Connect with them as soon as possible so that you remember them and they remember you. In your LinkedIn correspondence, mention something that you talked about and ensure that your writing is professional and error-free. Later on, you might offer to help them or provide them with some resources that they might be interested in. Or you may ask to set up a future meeting. Remember, networking is a life skill, not just a job search skill. So keep listening, keep being curious, asking open-ended questions, help your contacts, keep sharing information. That's effective networking.
Okay. So, yeah. So that is one of our, our career clips as well. Um, yeah, and uh, Cindy just uh, posted our, our webpage. I definitely um, check out all of our online resources. And like I said, small steps, um, but get used to being a new university student and, and getting your work done and, and doing quality work. And then stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit, what would be interesting to try next? and doing so small steps, um, connecting with some clubs, professors, other students, start figuring out what you want to do, how you want to maximize the most out of your uh, university experience. And we have people to help you. You don't have to do it all by yourself. That's the, the great thing about career is, is life is a team sport. And you got a great team of folks to help you at, at career services. We got, I noticed Ryan is on the call today. Ryan is the, our employer relations specialist that line up employers to uh, come to career fairs and info sessions. We got Cindy who's, who's really in charge of Elevate and, and, and our job board. And um, how many jobs do we have currently right now, Cindy? We have over 400 jobs, part-time, full-time contract jobs. So there's a lot of jobs employers are hiring right now. Um, so it's a good, a good thing. So Elevate will help you with, um, uh, you can RSVP to attend the workshops that David and the career development team hosts when you're on campus. Uh, you'll learn lots about networking, writing your resumes, um, interviewing, uh, LinkedIn, job searching, lots of things that you can learn. Uh, there's lots of opportunities on campus. So I just listed, uh, I believe all of you should be high school students. So we do have the career discovery camp that we're hosting in the summer, in the summer, in July. And that camp is designed to help you in the, it's a three-day camp. And in the end of that three-day camp, you should have an action plan moving forward with regards to your career. You will do uh, a strengths. I think it's a strength, the Clifton strengths with you. Is that correct, yeah. David? Yeah. yeah. So it'll be- a Yeah. Like really the, the session today and showing you how to maximize your university and getting to know yourself is really gonna be this discovery camp. Um, it's gonna be all about. What's interesting though is I'm an interesting career specialist because I know um, I don't like plans because um, that's we, we always plan for our career, but I don't I don't know. It, it, life to me is more John Lennon. Like your life is a series of unplanned events. I, I think life happens to you while you're busy making other plans, and, and I think um, I like. I, it's not like I don't like the, the word plan. I like more direction, having your career, having a direction to head towards. And then uh, what I want students to head towards that direction, things will come to them planned and unplanned and you want to take advantage of that. So that's the way I kind of look at it. more career development is more surfing than, than, than driving to a specific uh, destination. But thanks for coming to this session and uh, definitely check out our online resources and connect with me like definitely a couple times before you graduate university and I can help you launch your career. Well, thank you so much for coming. Does anybody have any questions? Um, feel free to unmute yourself and ask them. I have no questions. All I gotta say is thank you. Uh, thanks to everyone. Uh, you, you teach me, you've teach me more stuff. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. Visit the visit the booths at in the um, V Fairs platform. So go and look at the uh, different booths. Go to the um, student services uh, floor. Go to the prospective student office with any questions about your. Um, 
program, choosing a degree, or go talk to them. Lots of resources today, so go um, make use of everything within the um, platform. And I chat, agree. And chat with everyone, okay? Okay. Have a nice yeah. day. Hey. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see you all here in September. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for coming, everybody. And have a great time at the University of Calgary. Thank you. We can stick around if you guys want to ask yeah, questions. Yeah, if you have okay? any sp specific questions or whatever, I, I can stick around for a little bit. Have a good Great. day, Mr. Great job, Dave. Was that okay? I don't yes. Know, kind of fast, but so um, to make sure that uh, Mr. Did you have a question? Yeah. Just. I don't. But thanks, Cindy, for helping me out. Like. No problem. Um, uh, the one o'clock session, I won't be able to help out because I have